It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys, and it's coming up next. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, here in Dallas, winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. But this team this year may have even extra pressure on their shoulders in what might very well be the toughest division in football. And that extra pressure? will go on the offensive side of the ball. They'll need consistent play from the quarterback position because they are very explosive. And on the defensive side, they want to continue to take the ball away and make themselves contenders in the NFC East. But meanwhile, for the visiting Lions, they're going to be a pretty trendy sleeper pick. I feel obligated contractually to mention that they've only won one playoff game since 1957, and that number gets more and more impossible every year. But finally, Charles Davis, can they break the string in 2023? Break it, snap it, cut it, whatever you want to use. This Lions team, I fully expect to be in the playoffs in 2023. I like the way that they're being built. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. No run back here on the opening kickoff, as we'll start at the 25. For the Lions offense, getting ready to go to work here, and under center, a man whose career's been rejuvenated a bit as of late. In season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Opening play, and Goff wants to pass it. And his first look is incomplete. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Golf. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Boy, somehow, someone lost that running back downfield. He had acres of space, but this ball overthrown, and that's one you've got to be able to hit on. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time and it is their now 30 year old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard, and he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three.
Here comes third in the length of the football. Prescott now. He's across midfield. He's got room at the 30. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys! Brandon Cooks, 54 yards. And the Cowboys will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. They said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned him, and I don't think it's the last time they called his number in this one. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Well, they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead a handoff up the middle. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Now gone. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. Now a first down throw, gone. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other, a gain of six. Second down and four. Here's the 12th overall pick in April's draft, Jameer Gibbs. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Goff on first down. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Now a second and ten. Now a give running right is Montgomery. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. 
Bears gone. Trying to lay one up deep. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Going to run again here with Pollard. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. It's a pickup of six. Now, we all know that an offense coordinator and a quarterback, they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Pollard will take it up the gut. A little juke. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent, but boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. A give to Pollard, running left. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. He finds his way into the secondary again on this drive. They might want to try getting him down a little closer to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, what do they call that? Third level run, first level being the D line, and linebacker second level in the secondary, the third. When you block it up well and you make the secondary do all the tackling, that will wear on a defense. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. From the 24 now, here's a second and seven. Play action now, Prescott. Decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards in a first. From the red zone now, Prescott. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And the Cowboys are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They wanted to win the time of possession. 
possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit of the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Aubrey now for the PAT. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Lions offense set to take over. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Goff. He's got right on the short throw. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. Ball on the 47 yard line, here's a second down and nine. Goff now looking to throw. Contact a whole lot of that one, and it's third down. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Here's Gaul. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Here's Jack Fox on to punt. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And he didn't quite have the bank spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. 
It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Prescott to throw it. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. He's got Charles, what a start here for them in this game. Still in the first quarter, a sizable lead and pitching a shutout on the other side is their defense. The game plan is certainly in effect, isn't it? Working awfully well the offensive side of the ball. They keep compiling points, and the defense playing with a lot of confidence and shutting them out thus far. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And it's now 21 to nothing. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. offense ready to kick off their next drive well CD you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores and I know we're in the first half but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive right yeah and sometimes I overuse if this is an important possession but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Second and eight coming from the 19. Goff now to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Reynolds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Running left, Montgomery. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. A free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Back to throw. Golf. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. The Lions on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. Sink here early, and now it's 
fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. 130 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. From the 48-yard line, here's a second and four. Here's Pollard again. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And this is beginning to border on dominance. Another strong run that picks up a first down. You've got to wonder if the defense coordinator is wondering, do I even go to goal line defense in any situation now to try and slow down this running game? Now a give here to Pollard. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Partner, I know my grade school teachers never would believe this, but I can absorb a lesson. I think there's a lesson in this one. He's having a great day running the football, but occasionally they're going to find a way to stop you, aren't they? Yeah, this time the defense stepped up in what's been so far a tough game for them. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Tried to get the edge there. The defense just too quick to the ball. That's what we call total team defense there. Can't get to the edge. No place to move it inside. And then allows everyone else to run to the ball and create a big time tackle for no gain for the offense. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there catch those safeties creeping up trying to help against the running game they tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully on fourth down here's brian anger now to kick this one away back deep khalif raymond and the punt over the side in the air and the spot will be inside the 35 so here come the lions now and this, you'd hate to say that a drive in the first half must end in points, but you're down 21-0. They're going to have to get something going fairly quickly. I would agree totally with that because if you're going to mount the comeback, it's going to have to come in bits and pieces. It doesn't just all come at one time, right? We haven't seen anything more than a six-point touchdown ever in this game, right? So that's how it has to be done. Get points on the board now. Start your comeback but you're exactly right. Let's get it going right here in this spot. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him, it's incomplete. Oh, and that's kind of how it's gone for him so far. That was a ball they need to get back in this game. A quick strike, a big play, but he let his guy too far and it winds up over his head. Here's second and 10. A give to Montgomery out of the gun and he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. These guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he is caught and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. That's a much-needed accomplishment there on third down. They've been forced to punt far too many times already. They needed something to go their way, and they're able to get a new set of downs. Going 
one up the gun. Montgomery. And a solid one here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. Now a play fake, and it's gone. And this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Cross throw complete there to St. Brown. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. That's on the tackle, Panay Sewell. Still first down. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Out of the gun, gone. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Well, that's not exactly how they drew that one up, nor practiced it, because on first down, you're trying to get some yardage to set up second and third down calls. In this case, had to drop it off to his running back. But boy, they closed quickly on that one and stopped him behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Down several scores and playing behind the chains is not the way to have success in this one. Right now, if you're the offensive line, your big concern, protecting your quarterback, even a chance to try and throw something downfield to pick up the needed yardage. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. To the air again, golf. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The take, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Here's Jack Fox now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Gallup goes in motion. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. It was Charles Harris getting in there behind the line. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. Takes it to about the 37. This is second and eight. Now Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Looking to throw, Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And it's gonna be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 45 yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. They're just gonna run a drive route here with their tight end. Let him get upfield about 10 yards and then move toward the middle of the field. This ball's right on target, and it results in a first down. Here's Pollard. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Man, let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. Prescott's throw there caught by Gallup, and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. From the 23, this is second and three. To throw is Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Pollard gets it off the option. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. will use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. They'll run for it with Pollard. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. The type of game that he's having running the football, there was no doubt who they were giving the ball to. So why didn't they just go ahead and go after him on defense? Right? Yeah, if, if you know, on it. Right? You know he's having that type of a game. Who else would you expect to get the football? I would have taken my chances and sold out defensively to stop him. And if anyone else picks it up, I tip my cap. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Levi Onzerike charging in and finishing off the sack. 
I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, and those are the type of plays that can focus a defense because, as we know, they've had their trouble so far in this one. But they just proved to themselves that they can get to him. And I expect them to continue to bring that type of pressure in order to try and turn around their fortunes. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So eight yards on the completion there. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Prescott now. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys continue to pull away here in this first half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Aubrey now for the point after. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. Now a first down throw, golf. That is caught by Laporta. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive? were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pick up here toward the end of the first half. Now Goff on first down. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. The Lions now gonna use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and three. Now it's Goff. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now gone. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Off play action. Here's Goff. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. 
So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To throw is gone. Throw left side to Reynolds. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. The Cowboys were treated to a fine first half from number four quarterback Dak Prescott. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for him, so what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they've got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. And they'll run the option to start the drive. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. They'll run. Here's Pollard. Able to slither by. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Prescott. He's brought down. There's Charles Harris getting home for the sack. Boy, every time I see speed like that off the edge, Charles, I just don't know how these offensive linemen do it. I would think that they would get called for holding every play, and maybe they should have been called for holding on that one. Yeah, maybe not just holding, but sometimes you end up setting back in the offensive backfield a little bit farther to try and help you with the edge. That's a penalty as well. Sometimes you overset, they'll come inside of you. That's what speed does. It disrupts an offense, and right now, you've got to pay attention to this edge rusher on every single down. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A gain of 32 that time. What my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. From the 35, here's second and six. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. 
And he'll be taken down at the 34. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Here's Prescott. Cooks on the quick slant. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. And the move from Mike McCarthy is going to be to keep the offense on the field here on fourth down. They're going for it. Prescott to throw it. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Lions will take over. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at the 31 yard line quick throw complete to Reynolds give him a gain of five on the completion and that's going to bring up second down to throw, Goff. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And St. Brown gonna have the Lions first down as he's up to the 43. It's a seven yard gain there and it's good enough to move the chains. It's a game of matchups and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Now a give running left with Montgomery. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. First down Lions on a pickup of 13. Here's Gaw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Second and 10. Goff now to throw. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. Goff now looking to throw. Look in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he is gonna have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up, they know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying.
They'll run with Montgomery. 59 yards rushing for him now to this point. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Montgomery is in for a Lions touchdown. So that, Charles, their first score of the ball game, obviously, coming here in the third quarter. Is that going to be enough to energize the troops? It's a great question, and we'll wait to see the answer, but it's finally something for them to build on. Now they know that they can actually score against that defense. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. He's got it to bring it back to 28-7 now. A 10-play drive that time. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And now here come the Cowboys. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. now Prescott over the middle complete it's Ferguson and he'll be brought down just shy of the 40 another nice gain that's now 30 yards between those last two plays and while we may be looking at the scoreboard this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down even with a three score lead here in the third quarter I think they keep taking their shots they've seen blown leads happen throughout this league they don't want to fall victim to it themselves First down, Prescott. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. Six. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Here's Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And I think there defensively, they were so intent on stopping the run that they kind of got caught out of position. This is just a simple pitch and catch for a first down. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They'll run left with Pollard. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. In my book, that's running the ball well. 
but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. Now, well, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turned into a nice play. On third down, it's Prescott. That is caught and brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion, and now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. Prescott now. Caught on the slant. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Pollard is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Now here's Pollard, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. So with a fourth and goal looming, we hit the end of three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. And we'll begin it with a field goal try here. This is a fairly straightforward 22 yard short attempt. gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that's the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And he returns this to the 22. Detroit's offense ready to take over. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he will go down, a Cowboy sack. Demarcus Lawrence picks up his second sack of the afternoon. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Goff now looks to throw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. 
Give him nine yards on the second down screenplay. I like the thinking there because right after a sack, it can be a great time to call for a screen to your running back and use the eagerness of the defense against him. Able to gain some positive yards out of this one and make things a little bit easier for him on third down. Throwing on third, Goff. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And got his man complete! And he is going to have the Lions first down. And it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allow him to convert on fourth and long. Uh, no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. It's second and seven from the nine. Here's Goff. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Josh Reynolds, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions get a bit closer. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit the defense. And he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. now to kick this one away and off it goes and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 so out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. So the drive's going to start with Pollard, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast-forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast-forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. 
So far, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now, three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Pollard going to try the right side. And down to the 44, five yards that time. From the 44-yard line, here's second and five. Running right, it's Pollard. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 39. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Trying to run forward with Pollard. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. And they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it. And it worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter is telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal. So it gives you a great chance to go for it. Personally, if you have those tendencies to be aggressive as a head coach, you kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Wow, 213 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. CD, fourth quarter, you're still above three minutes remaining, but... Right now, running the football is a pretty good idea to work that clock, right? It certainly is because your team is strong right now, and you can feel the defense fading a little bit. Their goal, continue to run it this effectively, call victory formation as the clock winds down, and end the ball game and move on to the next opponent. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right. If it's college football, you want to – second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. You have confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. They'll run with Pollard. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. 
They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. Pollard one more time. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want to. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? They'll try to run with Pollard. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. So you're a boxing guy. How do you score that on your boxing card? A very long drive, but three points. And I really want to do my boxing analyst voice right here, but I'm going to keep it normal for us, right? I call it a draw. That type of a drive has to feel good, right? You take it all the way downfield, you control the ball, control the clock. But they only got three points out of it. So defensively, it could have been worse, right? So I give it a draw. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. He's to midfield. Khalif Raymond. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a camera on this one. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Here's second and three. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and that should be that. Ethan. 
They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Scott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys, and it was a game where they were off and running in the first quarter, Charles, and never looked back. You know, partner, after a while, we always say the same thing, don't we? They set the tone early, right? They started fast. So I asked a few of my horse racing friends, do you have a term for me that we can use to cover that? And they said, yeah. When a horse breaks out like that, you say he caught a flyer out of the gate. And that's exactly what this team did today. I mean, they jumped out there, jumped on them, and were never headed.